fucking dragoon, isn't it? That's Panzer Dragoon. That's Panzer Dragoon. That's Panzer Dragoon. Except it's got a big bat dragon thing. Bird. But, you know, wow, okay. Looks pretty good, though. Like, looks pretty fun. It's not so much that I don't like YouTube no more, dudes. Like, say, it doesn't... All this new shit doesn't really affect me. Because, I, like, say, I'm moving into indie and multiplayer anyway, so it doesn't really affect me. But play... I mean, play... A lot of people go, like, oh, playthroughs are done and stuff like that. They ain't, they ain't. Uh, Neva's game um, game content or anything like that. It's, it's not dumb. But, uh, yeah, it's like... It's not like I hate YouTube now. Not even, like, closer or like that. But, yeah, it does kind of... Uh, this month definitely has zapped... It's not just me neither, there's a lot of folk. We've had his motivation definitely zapped. Definitely. But, like, say, for me, I mean, I'd have still been doing videos on YouTube recently if it hadn't been for, like, the Xbox One and enjoy, enjoying playing this. And streaming's good fun as well, so... No, it's not like I'm done with YouTube or anything like that. It's not like I have some beef with YouTube at the moment. I've got to be honest, all these new changes coming in ain't because YouTube's been a dick as such, but it, that, that's no conversation for later on or something like that. But like I say, I don't, I, I've got to be honest, guys. I don't really have any beef about YouTube. It's not YouTube. It, like I say, I have no problems with what YouTube's done. Not really. I know it sounds kind of strange. And it does require elaboration. But it's not so much... I mean, YouTube's done this because of all the multi-channel networks that were making a killing out of doing nothing. That's why YouTube's done it. Because the multi-channel networks were making a killing as a middleman not providing the content, not providing the platform, doing nothing, but being a middleman. And they were making a, lion, a decent chunk of fucking change out of it. And at the end of the day as well, YouTube let them do that because they were meant to take responsibility for copyright and stuff like that. And in the end, they just weren't. So they weren't doing anything. They weren't doing anything at all. And now, nowadays, they are doing nothing at all. And from January onwards, it's very clear they are doing nothing at all. Nothing. So from January onwards, if you are an affiliate partner, and you, obviously, you're with a multi-channel network, you are being stolen from. You are being taxed by a, co a random company. A percentage of your earnings are being taken for zero service in response. Oh, We'll give you some music that you can use, and if you ever need any help, we'll get back to you probably. <laughs> oh, thank you. Feel free to keep, keep, yeah, keep fucking reaching in and taking money out of my fucking pocket. That's exactly what they're doing. Oh, Connect Sports Rivals is now ready, but I don't have the Connect plugged in. But yeah, seriously. Like I say, I, I don't have a beef with YouTube. I mean, the content matching system was a little bit broke ass and stuff like that, but you know, like, I don't blame YouTube for what they've done. I blame the... F I mean, uh, YouTube was the cause of how this all went down to begin with. But y who I really blame? The multi-channel networks. Because if they'd done the job better, then YouTube wouldn't have needed to respond like this. And I especially blame some networks like the one I'm on. Because... They were meant to be very strict about their... Like, if... if Maker Studios hadn't been so fucking greedy, then there wouldn't be a thousand thousand channels under the Maker banner. Like it was supposed to be. Like when I when I signed up with Maker, it was like I had about seventeen thousand subscribers, and I was like, "Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get through into that." Now you can get through with about five hundred subs, and because of them being so greedy. And doing shotgun theory and, and partnering a million fucking channels, then they couldn't make everybody a managed channel. So we all suffer because they were fucking greedy. And now, from January onwards, they're taking our fucking money every month for providing nothing. Nothing at all. It's like being taxed by the government, except they're not a government, they're a random company. Here's an, here's an analogy, guys. Here's an analogy. You go to work in an office job. You earn... It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You earn your money each month. And then 
you get your money and you realise it's a bit low. Why is it low? Because McDonald's has taken a percentage of your money. That's the analogy. It's like you earned your wage at the end of the month and it was lower by a certain percentage because McDonald's wanted a chunk of your money. But hey, they'll let you use the McDonald's... They can use the McDonald's tune if you want. Put that on your iPod. And you know, like, if you ask to see a manager, maybe you can. Great. Awesome. Good shit. Good, good shit. But yeah, really, really fucking wrong shit. And like I say, um, I don't blame YouTube for changing stuff around. It was a it was a shady system that was occurring. Nobody nobody was really to blame for any violations or content matches or copyright stuff. And this shady middleman making a profit for doing nothing. So I don't, I don't blame YouTube for clamping down on the multi-channel networks. It's, uh, the multi-channel networks have kind of made it seem like YouTube's clamping down on people when it's not. YouTube is clamping down on multi-channel networks. Big difference. Big difference. And like I said, the multi-channel networks, sugarcoating it. It's not really a big deal, is it? No, you'll still continue to receive your free music and support. I tell you what I would like support with. Getting your hand out of my asshole. Because that's where I keep my wallet and you know it. You keep your wallet in your asshole? It may as well be. <laughs> it feels like it's there. It feels like it's fucking there after fucking some multi-channel network's finished. Well, that's the thing, dude. Maker and machinima and etc. are a business. They're not a business. They're a coattail rider. They're not a business. That's, it's, it's like me standing outside of Burger King. I'll go into Burger King. I buy their burgers. And then I stand outside of Burger King and sell those burgers. It's a fucking free enterprise. They don't provide the platform. They don't provide the content. They do nothing. Nothing at all. You see, originally they did do something at least. Oh, thank you very much. Holy shit. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. Just allow me to finish my sentence. Yes. Thank you very much, dude. Um, like I said, to conclude, they used to do... So, and, um, it sounds like I'm being really harsh and really aggressive towards them. Can you blame me? Like I said, the analogy, what I said about McDonald's taking for whatever percentage of your money each month is, is correct. Like I said, it's like you earn your wage and then like they take your fucking 25, 35, 45%, whatever. It's different between different networks and shit. They take a percentage of your money and it's just going to some random company. Now, they did used to do something. They did used to do something. When, about a year ago, before all these channel changes, they did quite a few nice things. Like, you got thumbnails for your channel. Very nice. You got a channel banner, so you stood out. Very nice. You got the ability to instantly monetize your videos. Very nice. And you also got a copyright umbrella. You know, any legal problems you might have, they sort it out. Now, that I didn't mind. It was a fairly steep chunk they were taking from you. And if YouTube would have been nicer towards gamers and let you get a partnership as a gamer, they wouldn't have been needed to begin with. But, at the time, a year plus ago, they did something for you in return for taking a percentage of your money each month. That was fine. That was fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, exactly, dude. You are 100% correct. They're effectively like unions at the multi-channel networks. But the difference between them and the unions is the multi-channel networks have no power now at all. Zero. Whereas a union can still call strikes and, you know, still do stuff. Still has connections and can still do this. Multi-channel networks have nothing. Because, as like I said before, they're kind of like a union, but they're not. It's actually a free enterprise. So... Like I say, that's why they don't have the same power as a union, because they're not a union. 
But the, um, like I say, the, the long and short of it is they used to provide something that was worth the money each month. They did. They did. They really did. Now, because of their own greed and YouTube changing stuff, like I said, I don't blame YouTube for changing it, but I do blame their greed for partnering too many people. Because we could have all been managed if they'd have kept it to a, like, a proper number of fucking people, but they didn't. And now they're going to have to. So now, basically, they're going to do what they should have done to begin with and hold, only have so many people that they can go, oh, yeah, they're going to be all right and they're going to be managed. And then everybody else is basically being leached off of. Leached. Stolen from. Because they're not providing anything for them. Absolutely nothing at all. The, w once January 8th and you've got to, st you've got to um, submit videos for approval, you know, what features are left that you signed the contract for to begin with? What features are left? Do you get thumbnails anymore? Nope, everybody gets them. Do you get channel banner anymore? Nope, everybody gets them. Do you get a, any kind of legal assistance? Nope. Do you get instant monetization? Nope. Hence, there is nothing left. But you're still locked in contract. And will they fucking dissolve the contract? Will they fuck? Will they fuck? Absolutely no chance. So that's the long show of it, dudes. Personally, I have no beef against YouTube with this. I really do not. I am not done with YouTube, not by a long shot. And I have no beef with YouTube. I really do not. And that sounds strange and stuff like that, but I really don't. It's the multi-channel networks that I have a beef with. I never liked them to begin with. I've got to be honest. I never liked them to begin with. I don't like the idea of middlemen. And they... But they did provide a service that was required. So it's like, well, I don't like it, but you've got to do it. And um, now that they don't actually... They're, they're neither required nor useful... Now, it's actually quite annoying, but like I said, no problem with YouTube, problem with the multi-channel networks, especially considering they won't release us. They won't. Doesn't matter how nicely we ask, doesn't matter how patient we are, doesn't matter how dodgy as all fuck it is that they're taking money from people for doing nothing and they know it. It doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. So, it's, it's, a, shit, it's a bit of a shit circumstance all around, but like I say, YouTube, I have no problems with. It's not, it, it's really not YouTube, guys. Seriously. I know it can be very easy to hate on YouTube and Google, and, and believe me, like, I'm no white knight for YouTube. I'm no white knight for YouTube. YouTube's done some very stupid shit over the past few years. But, like I say, well, yeah, um, Sirius is indeed correct. Like, the AAA stuff, and that's what's, that's what's being clamped down on quite a bit, you know, the AAA stuff. And that, like, like Sirius just said then, that doesn't really affect me because I'm, I'm move, I'm, I've already been moving into indie this year anyway, and all I'm doing is accelerating the multiplayer stuff instead. And I'll pick and choose my battles with AAA as it comes. Anyway. Anyway, I, I, I apologize for being delayed. I was like, I just thought I'd finish, finish that, that train of thought before I lose it. I just thought I'd finish that train of thought because I'd been wanting to make my opinion a bit clearer on it. Like, you know, no problems with YouTube, problem with the multi-channel networks, but there's nothing I can do. Like I said, it, it's it's an it's more fr it's not really annoying. It's more just frustrating because there's nothing you can do. There's nothing, so it's a bit frustrating more than anything. But I'm not going to be losing any sleep over it. Just just a bit frustrated by it, but not losing any sleep. But thank you very much. Impressive. Thank you very much. I uh, dude, your name. I always feel bad. I know, I know your boo. Or is it I I know your boo? Or is it I know your boo? I'm sorry, sir. I I I, I mispronounce your name. I, I think anyway, but. Cheers, dude. Spend it, spend it all on cat food, tea, and biscuits if you so desire. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Very, very generous. Very yeah, generous. Cat food for dinner. Cat food for dinner. Cat food. Oh. Cat food all round. Oh, I'm, I'm enjoying. Cat food's on me. <laughs> That's the top donation as well, dude. It says right there in my um, little window with a new top donation, forty-two dollars from I know your boo. Oh. I know your boo. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> no problems, dude. It's it's good to vent. <laughs> it, you know, that actually was quite nice. That was quite nice. I've been meaning to go off on. Uh, <laughs> I had been meaning to go off on one about it before, but like say, I, like it's like I was saying. It, you, there's no what you can do. There's no what you can do. It's it's same with like the YouTube changes and then with the multi channel networks. There's nothing you can do. And there's um. There's a great quote. And I don't, I'm not sure where it's from, but where I heard it was Boardwalk Empire. What was it now?
It's something like a normal man avoids trouble. An extraordinary man turns it to his advantage. And I think that's probably the best advice that you could probably give for anybody he, um, YouTubing and making gaming content at the moment. You know, the lay of the land is changing. You can either wallow in, um, in bullshit and get worried about it and stop or, you know, get pissed off. There's, there's, there's the entire spectrum. The entire spectrum of um, emotions from different gaming content creators going down at the moment. Or, you can adjust and change and, you know, modify the way that you do things and conduct your shit. And who knows, maybe it'll be better. Who knows? I mean, I'm expecting better, me. You know, more streams, more videos, a uh, uh, higher emphasis on indie games that I love, and... Um, Bring into the boiling to the surface a bit more of the multiplayer shit. So, like I say, I'm not I'm not saying like I'm the extraordinary man in that circumstance because I would not be so um, full of myself. But I am saying like I ain't gonna get fucking down about it. I'm just gonna fucking alter the way that I go about doing stuff. And like I say, to be honest, I, I saw this coming a long time ago. I really fucking did. So it's it, it's really no big deal. It really isn't. Sorry, somebody said thanks for answering. I, I, sorry, out of the corner of my eye. Like I say, apologies. I don't have my glasses on tonight, so I'm struggling to see the, um... Anything. Yeah, a little bit. Somebody said, um, thanks for your answer, OTG. I... I I hope that wasn't, like, sarcasm or anything like that, and I accidentally missed your question or something like that. If I did, if I missed your question, so I'm sorry. I was off on quite the ramble, though. Like I say, apologies. I mean, oh, hopefully I did answer your question, but I, I'm, I'm not sure if... I'm not sure what I've answered in the last uh, 15 minutes. So apologies if I missed your question, sir. You're not going to let me down on your six-month promise, are you, about episode two? No, sir, I will not. I will not. It is my, um, my mission to get episode two finished this year, get it uploaded, and it's not the end of HTSF. It's really not. But it will certainly be the last AAA HDSF for a while until I get the lay of the land and I see how things are. And like I said, to be honest, guys, I've been wanting to go into indie stuff and multiplayer more anyway, as opposed to just AAA playthroughs. I know a lot of folk really love them, and I like I said, I'm not writing that off entirely, burning that bridge. But I'm just saying, like, it'll be the last one for a while until I figure the shit out. And by that point, I might go, you know what? I'm fucking happy doing indie stuff and multiplayer now, and streaming, so I don't want to do full playthroughs so much anymore. At least not of AAA or Impressive. anything. Who knows? Who knows? Holy shit, another one. Oh, as I was saying as well, I know... I, can, is, is, can I call you I know? Because I'm sure I'm pronouncing that bit right, I know. It is a cool name though, I actually like it. I know your boo. Or I know your boo. Because it's B-O-U, so it could be boo, or... I, but I, I like to think it's boo. B-O-U. How would you say B-O-U? Boo or boo? Boo. Like you. Yeah, I know. It is a weird one, isn't it? That's, that's why I asked, like... I know your boo. Maybe it's that. But like I said, that came up as a top donation dude did that. Many, many thanks. And, um, another one as well. Thank you very much, sir. May you have more wine for your rants. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I haven't actually got any wine at the moment. And considering I'm streaming so much recently, I, I'm doing my shopping tomorrow, guys. I'll order some wine. And I'll, um, I'll see how it goes down at the weekend. We'll find someone to play drunk, maybe some... I don't know. I don't know. We'll find someone to play drunk at the weekend anyway. You're the best in ever. Oh, very kind, sir. Helped me get some... Uh, helped me get through some tough times. This is the least I can do. Oh, very nice to hear, dude. Well, you know, obviously, they're getting, not, not the tough times, but, you know, getting through the tough times. You know, everybody knows what you mean. When, everybody knows what you mean when you say that, don't they? But at the same time, you always feel like you've got to, like, you know, just make sure. Just in case. Just in case. Sorry, it's not more. No, dude. Very generous from Largo at Dibs. Very generous, sir. It's always nice to hear that the videos are not only entertaining and fun for folk, but some folk that, you know, they're feeling ill or, you know, like, they're down a little bit and, you know, like, made them laugh. Even if only for five minutes in that day, you know, it, it, it took the edge off, off of an otherwise terrible day. That is always, I mean, it's, it's not nice to hear that people are having, you know, bad times, but it is nice to hear that it does 
cheer people up when they're having rough times. You know, you know what I'm saying. Like once again, I had to cover it, didn't I? Once again, I had to. But you know, you know what I mean. It's not nice to see people having bad times, but it is nice to hear that it's the videos and the streams and stuff like that. Take the edge off a day, a bad day or a bad week or a bad month or whatever like that. That is always very nice to hear. Thank you very much, sir. Very generous. Very generous and very kind. OTG, you're one of the first YouTubers ever. Certainly, certainly one of the earliest batch, I will agree with that. Like, seriously, when I started YouTubing, you had the option of cat videos. You still do. Cool, cat videos are timeless. You had the option of cat videos, Renetto, and that was about it, really. There wasn't, many, there wasn't much else. There was Renetto. What's Renetto? You see, this is it. He, that, that, that Renetto is seriously like it's it sounds like an ice cream. <laughs> it does sound like an ice cream. Um seriously guys, a show of hands. How many of you folk remember a YouTuber called Renetto? Let's see how many uh, see how many uh, yeah, Cloud was around in those days as well, but very, very fucking like say I didn't I didn't hear a cloud until after I started doing playthroughs, so but yeah, he was around before- he was actually doing playthroughs before I was. Very old school. When did you start? 2007, I think it was 2007. I had a YouTube account about five months before I actually started Renekton. <laughs> I, I had a YouTube account like about four or five months before I started uploading videos. Wow, not many people remember Renetta. Oh no, there's a, no, there's a couple there. His head was shiny. Yes, indeed.